it's no surprise that in the wasteland, some people decided to try and counterfeit bottle caps. Unfortunately, it didn't go to plan because apparently they're a bit more unique than you'd think. Heading over to the cap counterfeiting shack near the dangerous chips and train yard and the equally dangerous fisherman's pride, you can find uh, this little shack. Now, take a look at the geology of the area. Now, there are cazadors and a nest nearby. I believe this shack should have been moved a couple of feet to the right so it was into this rock. You'll see in a minute why that is the case. Going inside, it's a wee bit dark. We can turn the lights on. We see there's a cellar door to the left, but there couldn't be because... How, how could the cellar be in that side? However, it was if it was at this side and it was moved a wee bit more into the rock, that would, would have made sense. But that's not the case. Not to worry, though. This place is safe for player housing if you choose to use it as such. Although, I want to head straight into the uh, the underground. We'll see what was going on. Oh, a few machines. Venom machines. Okay, what was going on here? Oh, a few star bottle caps. There's actually three of them on the table. And a few nuka colas A few empty ones. And there are bottle caps. Counterfeit bottle caps, mind you. And uh, they're worth nothing, they weigh nothing, and there's 18 of them. But, more importantly, is what is in here. Because it's in here, you can find on top of one of the suitcases, Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor, giving you plus three to your barter skill. Which, here, we all love skills being boosted in this game, so why not, uh, why not pick it up whilst you're here. Gun cabinet, first aid, and uh, various other items are scattered about. Other than that, this place is pretty much empty. Its inhabitants, long gone. Possibly dispatched by the Cazadors. I would have loved to have seen a skeleton outside or some sign that this place was lived in. Um, as, well, as much as it's used for play, it could be player housing. There's no lights inside. It's a wee bit dark. So not uh, not the interior design I would personally go for. But uh, in terms of game design, this should have been a few feet to the right. And the cellar should have been the other side going into the rock. Because then that would have made sense. And it looks like they were thinking of that. Who knows, maybe you couldn't move it too close to the rock. You know, maybe it should have been turned round the other way and moved into the rock. Not sure, I could I could nitpick at this all day. But the reality is you'll have to deal with a lot of Cazadors to get a skill book. By a lot, I mean a lot. Look at how it's a field of Cazadors. Ugh. Yeah. They don't mind me, I'm just a ghost, but... They'll mind you. <laughs> oh, they will. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Be sure to drop a like if you did. Let me know what you think in the comments. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. We'll be moving on to the Gypsum Train Yard. I'll catch you all over there. Bye-bye.